Hey, I hope you guys are good. Uh, happy new week, new blessings. Today I want us to talk about the beauty of companionship and how we mess it up. You must never, ever, ever, nange pati ka Mandela, allow anybody to make you believe that companionship is a bad thing. Like, how dare they make you believe that companionship, which is like really a God thing, a bad thing? Nah. Actually, yesterday at church, they were preaching about love. You know, how we should love one another as children of God because God is love. And also, he has loved us so much. So loving should be our nature, our first nature, actually, not even our second nature. You know, because that's what our hearts are familiar with. Yes, a lot of people will have a lot of bad experiences along the way. Their hearts will be broken and whatnot. But that does not take away the beauty of companionship and just love in general. Now, I see where this comment is coming from is the video where I was making a joke about my own bad experiences, you know, about companionship. And there were so many people in the comment section actually who could relate to my story who also went through the same thing. Some people are still going through the same thing, you know, and there are also other people who were offended by my story. Anyway, not my content. Either way, it's either you will love it or you will be offended. There's no in between. There are no gray lines there. So there are others who are actually offended, who are in companionships. I don't know what is frustrating them, but um, somewhere, somehow, they were like, okay, return soldiers will make you believe that relationships are bad. They will want you to be like them. What, 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 what? Uh, they were frustrated, those people. Trust me, there is no way you can be offended by somebody sharing their experience when you are having a beautiful thing going on for yourself. Now, back to companionship. You know, lately I've been seeing um, stories of celebrities getting divorced a couple of times. I saw Silomage Kangube and also obviously Lebu M will be catching stray bullets for also divorcing a couple of times. And the reason why you'll find people getting married and getting divorced so many times is because their heart the heart ne? it's in its nature to love so no matter how many times you will be heartbroken you will still love because the heart is meant to love you know yes there are people that their experiences are so bad to a point where they don't even want to go down that route they've decided that listen you know what for the sake of my health and my mental well-being i will stay away from this thing because when it goes south it's really not good the biggest challenge that we have is that when your heart is in a good place and you really want to do this companionship thing with somebody and you look at them and you see somebody who fits in your vision or fits in what you want but they are not doing according to how you want them to do things it becomes so frustrating because they don't see in themselves what you see in them you know so you try by all means to force things because you are seeing greatness in them and you are seeing potential for a companionship to work but they don't see that and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people are frustrated in their relationships they don't want to exit the relationships because of the fear of not having a companion and that actually requires you to do a lot of work by yourself on yourself so that when you become somebody's companion you're not a liability who is just afraid of being alone but you are just loving you're just doing what the heart does and that is to love you know so a lot of people really get into these companionships and even if it's not working out they force it they force it because it has to work out because companionship is a beautiful thing and i think that's what's messing the whole thing up because in as much as it is a beautiful thing when you're doing it with the wrong person or you're doing it with somebody whose heart is not aligning with yours and is not in the same place as yours it, it can really damage you you know companionship is not a fairy tale guys where we will always be talking about beautiful things even though we know that some things are bad we are going to share our experiences you know and while we are sharing our experiences we'll be trying again to actually get a companionship that's gonna work out you get what i mean but the the key and the beauty in you being able to accept when the companionship is not working out means that you liberate yourself and you liberate the next person and what that will do for you it will save you a lot of time it will save you a lot of frustration because having an accepting heart means that okay this is what my heart desires this is what my heart is giving but if i'm not receiving the same thing from the next person or the willingness rather then it's okay it is well companionship should never be a forced thing or an escape where you are running away from your own demons and your own issues then you run into companionship and also it should never be a thing that you are trying to prove to other people that 
my marriage is working out you know therefore i will not divorce it really has to be your own thing that you are comfortable with by yourself with the person that you're in companionship with and you don't have to prove a point to anybody you don't have to make anybody feel like listen you are the girl because if your things are working out then they are working out but um honestly guys companionship is a beautiful thing we are still trying you should never give up and uh, if you're in a relationship that's not working out and you are forcing things my sister it will end in tears for you because you will either end up in a psychiatric ward or you'll end up swearing at people on the internet who are sharing their own experiences so love yourself enough to know that your heart that god gave you which is of love deserves to be loved and also to love right not forcing things you get what i mean so yeah god bless you man live right live right ne? never right